so a lot of people have this misconception that all saturated fats are bad for you and this misconception arose because there was a study involving uh, long chain saturated fatty acids and that showed that this could increase your uh, cholesterol and it could be atherogenic and it could increase the risk of uh, atherosclerotic diseases like cardiovascular diseases so a mis misinformation was spread that saturated fats are bad so people grouped all types of saturated fats into one and term them unhealthy but in fact there is long chain uh, saturated fatty acids short chain saturated fatty acids medium chain saturated fatty acids so the biochemistry is completely different if you know the metabolism of long chain and short chain uh, saturated fatty acids they are entirely different how they are absorbed how they are utilized by the body they are completely different so first of all let us understand what is short chain long chain medium chain saturated fatty acids so short chain fatty acids are those containing four to six carbon atoms so a good example of this short chain is uh, butter ghee so the name butter is derived from butyric acid butyric acid it contains four carbon atoms this is an example of short chain saturated fatty acids then there is medium chain saturated fatty acids containing 8 to 14 carbon atoms a good example of this is coconut oil it contains uh, lauric acid it has 12 carbon atoms and human milk this also contains lauric acid so these are example of medium chain saturated fatty acids and long chain you have 16 carbon atoms to 18 carbon atoms so good example of this would be vegetable oils and animal fat so the study which showed that long uh, saturated fatty acid is harmful actually involved this long chain so it showed that there is increase in the risk of atherosclerotic disease with long chain saturated fatty acids and not short chain or medium chain but people grouped everything in one uh, one window so what is the main difference the main difference is that it is short chain and medium chain these are non atherogenic they do not have any effect on raising your cholesterol either decreasing increasing anything so these will not increase the risk of your cardiovascular disease this short chain so eating butter and ghee and coconut oil will not increase the risk of you dying from heart attacks so you sh this should be clear the digestion process is also entirely different so for short chain and long chain you do not require any types of pancreatic lipase or bile salts so digestion is very easy it is directly absorbed into the blood these ghee butter coconut oil this will be directly absorbed into the blood they are oxidized preferentially by the peripheral cells and these are not stored in adipose tissue so eating ghee butter coconut oil will not make you fat unlike long chain fatty acids which are found in vegetable oil and uh, animal fats so these long chain fatty acids these require 
lipase these require pancreatic lipase these require bile salts for digestion also they are not directly absorbed into the uh, blood they are first uh, absorbed into the lymphatic then to thoracic duct so the digestion is very long for long chain digestion is very long for long chain for short and medium chain the digestion process is very small it is not long so someone who is dealing with any type of digestive issues it is recommended to cook your foods in ghee butter or coconut oil rather than using vegetable oil or animal fat also you have to know that long chain fatty acids which are found in vegetable oil and animal fats are atherogenic so they will increase the risk of developing your cardiovascular diseases so in this video i would like to clarify that if you want to cook your vegetables or any food it is better to use coconut oil butter or ghee rather than using vegetable oils or animal fat thank you